What is up, YouTube? Uh, Texas Backyard Gardener here, and in this episode, I've got something pretty cool that I'm trying out. So I was thinking, you know, I'm getting a lot of feedback, like I should really, really try winter gardening. And honestly, I haven't had the balls enough to do it yet, because for one, it's cold. I don't really like being cold. I really ain't trying to be out here messing around in the garden. But then I was thinking like, all right, well maybe I should maybe I should give it a shot. You know, today is uh, December 30th. And I was like, well, if I'm going to give it a shot, I mean, it's probably going to get super cold in January, February. We're probably going to get a ton of rain. I've got to figure out some way to protect the plants that I do put out here if I decide to actually do the winter gardening. It might be too late, I don't know, but if anything, I could probably get a head start for spring. So I'm not too sweating, I, 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 I'm not too worried about it. So I was thinking about um, doing a hoop house. So I went online and I started researching, 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 researching. And, um, I came across this channel, which I'm subscribed to, and uh, I don't know the guy's name, but the channel is LDS Prepper, and he was explaining how to do a, uh, a little hoop house, how to build it and everything. He goes into like super great detail, and uh, so I decided to copy it. And uh, he does a completely different gardening method, I think it's called a mint lighter gardening method or whatnot, but nevertheless, his video, which I'll put down in the description if y'all want to take a look at it, um, I would check it out and just see, but I copied it, so uh, props, LDS Prepper, for that, I want to thank you, and uh, I want to show you, I, I did modify it a little bit, I went a little higher, but let me show you where I'm at, because I've already started, let's go. <clears throat> All right, so this is this is pretty much it. Um, man, it's cold out here. Let me throw down my sleeves real quick. Golly, see, I don't even like being out here in the cold, man. This sucks. Um, so anyway, uh, the idea is is to get um, Schedule 40 PVC. I think this is three quarter inch, um, and you need to make like little holders and stuff that they can slide into which this is one inch I believe and it's not scheduled 40 the hole so the holders are a little bit thinner than the actual schedule 40 so I measured mine and uh, I just cut mine six and a half inches and from the top here from here to here I measured um, well, I measure like four inches, four inches from here to here, and I put a screw in. That way, when these things slide in, it's got a stopper. And these things ain't going nowhere. Now, the biggest question probably is, I mean, you can see I didn't, I, I didn't use any joining things at all. Um, you're probably saying, man, how the heck did, uh, did Jeremy bend this? Well, I'm going to show you, um, but before I show you, um, golly, it's freaking cold out here. I can't even think. Um, I measured two feet in between, and when I got down here, I went to like 38 inches, but no sweat. I mean, it's still going to work. So, I'm in the garage, and I'm building these... Uh, these little PVC things so there's no sharp edges or anything so my um, garden plastic cover I guess is what you call it. I have no idea what you call it basically it's greenhouse plastic I'm sure you can search online and find it but that should cover just fine without being punctured so that's the big goal right there Whew. and then when I grow my broccoli next year or maybe even um 
some squash, I can put some ag fabric, you know, the little holes and stuff that, it's almost like mosquito netting, I can put that over it, and maybe I won't get any squash vine borers, or those freaking um, cabbage flies, those white cabbage moths that laid those freaking worms all over the place this year. Eat up on my, eat up on my broccoli. Ugh. All right, so let me take you in the garage and I'll show you what's going on. All right, so this is what I'm working with. So we've got the uh, three-quarter inch Schedule 40. Um, is what you're going to need is I didn't get a big enough clamp. So when I when I put um, my PVC up here, the clamp doesn't really clamp onto it, so I had to use this little board and whatnot. But um, LDS Prepper shows you how to measure everything out and everything and actually create this what I got was a 4x4 four four piece three-quarter inch plywood and then I uh, I measured it off I mean you can see I mean I measured it off uh, put my nails in there you know centered it got everything measured off and then um, I had to figure out high, how high I wanted to actually go I wanted to go a little bit higher, so I modified the measurements. So that's why mine is setting up a little bit higher. Um, the total length of the PVC, the total length is 71 inches. So I'm going uh, 30, 35 and a half to go dead center. And then I mark it dead center right here. Um, actually, let me just show you. It's probably cooled off now. But uh, I mark it 30, 35 and a half dead center, and then I and then I line it up center with with this line right here, which is two foot on that side, two foot on that side, and then you know I clamp it down that way it doesn't move, and then I start my bends. Probably saying, well, Jeremy, how you do your bends? Ah, that's a great question. I got this uh, nice heavy duty uh, heat gun. And uh, the heat gun works really, really well. As a matter of fact, I mean, it takes probably, you know, a, maybe like 20, 30 seconds. I mean, you don't put it directly on there, right? I mean, I, I literally held it probably about two or three inches above um, the bend. And then I just put pressure on, you know, this side. And then probably about 20 seconds, about 20, 30 seconds, it started warming up. And as soon as I felt it start bending a little bit with the pressure, I just took the gun off of it and uh, just went ahead and created my bend. But yeah, that's that's how I did it. Um, and uh, it's working out good. So actually, let me show you. I'll take this one off. This one's nice and cool. And uh, we'll just go in the backyard and I'll show you how it works. Man, it's cold. I'm going to have to close the garage door while I'm doing these other bins. This sucks. Alright. Oh my gosh. You know what? Freaking Peter, man. This dude. So, how many more minutes do I have? Got seven minutes on the SD card. All right, so check this out. So Peter's been over here in this corner by the fence, and I was like, "What the heck is this dude doing over there?" I have no idea what he's. I never know what he's doing. He's always doing crap. But let me show you. So I come over here, and he's got his head buried. Man, this fool's digging up a hole, man. The neighbors had to put a uh, a brick down there just to um, stop it. So now I gotta fill this hole up, and uh, yeah, just one more thing. Thanks, Peter. Golly, man, always something. Oof. All right, Layla's been a good girl though. She ain't been giving me no trouble. All right, so I got my, uh, I got my uh, PVC bendy thing. And uh, basically, I'm just going to stick it in there, and then come over here, 
and stick it in that side and then just uh, just push it down and then push that one down and that's how you do it so super easy to remove they're all uniformed I mean it's actually pretty freaking amazing I mean this is such a great idea so once again LDS prepper big thumbs up bro I mean that's that's awesome so yeah so once I get all these created um, it'll look real nice and um, you know I'll throw some pictures and stuff up and then uh, you know from there I'll have to go online probably to Amazon and um, order my uh, what you call it my uh, greenhouse plastic and get that get that ordered that way I can do that I'll probably I was thinking to you know in order to um, seal the sides of the uh, plastic you know for you know each side probably have to get like some little clips or something you know but I don't know I don't know we'll see but I just want to share that with you I thought that was pretty cool you know how to make a uh, how to make like a mini greenhouse mini hoop house or whatever for for the winter or shoot you could even use it for you know like I said keeping away bugs you know on things that doesn't really need to be uh, what you call it pollinated I guess the squash and stuff you'd have to pollinate by hand but man those daggum squash vine borers man they always hit me so I stopped even trying to mess with that crap. But yeah. Alright, well, that's pretty much it. I just want to show y'all. I'll add some pictures at the end of the uh, video so y'all can watch. And, uh, golly, man. Freaking cold. <sighs> Alright, y'all. Well, I'm out of here. I'm going to finish these bins on the PVC and then, uh, kind of chillax for the rest of the day I ain't trying to be out of here I do have to go uh, buy a new vacuum cleaner though the other one broke freaking lame it's a weak sauce alright y'all well I'm going to start rambling if you like the video comment, like, rate, subscribe give me a thumbs up and until next time peace alright All right, y'all. I tell you what. So I cleaned off some of my uh, some of my old stuff off this memory card. So now I got like 32 minutes left. Bad thing is I got 47 minutes. Sometimes my battery drains. Anyway, I'm gonna show y'all exactly how I bend this. I figured I might as well. So, oh yeah, let's get started. Oh okay. yeah. I gotta put in a little bit of pressure on this side. I'm not putting too much though. I mean, I'm just I'm just barely putting pressure. And I'm gonna heat this right here, and y'all can count if y'all want. But you'll feel it, you'll feel it start to really bend down. I'm putting a little bit more pressure, a little bit more. A little bit more, and there it goes. It's starting to bend down. All right, I'm taking it off. Because there's no point in having it continuous, continuous heat on there when it's already warm enough, and you can go ahead and just, just bend it down. It's all good. So I'm going to do this side. A little bit of pressure. little bit of pressure I'm just moving it up and down just a little bit just a little bit and you'll feel it too you'll feel it give way and there it is there it is give it a little bit more heat 
just so it really gets in there. Okay. I want to do this side. Hope y'all can see okay. So I'm just putting a little bit of pressure, not much. Now I'm keeping steady pressure and I want to feel it when it starts bending. And you'll feel it. And there it goes. Starting to bend. Okay. See how easy that is? And these make some clean bends. And now I'm going to bend this side. So I put a little bit of pressure. I'm only about an inch away. Now one thing you got to be careful, don't put this heat gun too close because it will brown your PVC. A little bit of pressure. And there it goes. Starting to bend. Starting to bend. And that's it. That's it, man. I mean, that's that's how easy it is, and it makes really clean bends. So you don't have to worry about um, you don't have to worry about any PVC glue or getting those little uh, fittings to make it or anything. It's all one solid piece, nice and clean. And uh, yeah, man, I like it. I think it's a great idea. I mean, that gives me so many ideas of how to really do hoop houses. You know, I mean, that's what's up, man. I mean, it's solid. It's solid. Oh, wow, that's popping up a little bit. Maybe it's because this is cooling down. Maybe I'll get another nail and kind of, I don't know, maybe I'll just... I'm sure it'll be okay. Let's see how I did two nails down here. That way it'll hold it. I did one on that side, one on the other side. Kind of hold it. Maybe I just need a. I don't know. I'm sure it'll be okay. Maybe I'll. I don't know. Maybe I'll pop another nail in there. Maybe I can do something. It's not a big deal. I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect because it'll slide in, but yeah, so that's it. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, so yeah, that was a good idea to delete some of the crap I had on my memory card so I could actually show y'all in action. Yeah, so that's, that's it. Alright, um... That's all I wanted to really show y'all is actually how to do it. Go check out LDS Prepper's uh, video. I put the link down below. So click on it and he'll kind of give you how to measure and do all that crap. I don't really feel like doing that because it's cold. And yeah, I just it's just it's just really cold. I ain't trying to do all that stuff. So yeah. Alright. Peace.